What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Sorry for this fastly thrown together video, but I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the newest point release from Tesla, specifically really for the new Model S. Um, there's a lot of unique features that go into this update specifically for the refresh Model S. This is software version 2021.36. Uh, a little random call out for you guys, if you didn't know, the first couple of digits are the year and the dot release after is the week of the year that it came out. So in this case, it would be obviously 2021, week 36 out of 52. That doesn't necessarily mean the time you get it, but it's just when they were working on this. So just a little fun fact for you guys. Moving on to the more meaty information here. So we have some yoke behavior changes that you can see here. And a lot of these are uh, definitely, definitely uh, happy to see come along. So the yoke behavior changes. The turn signals now automatically can realize if you're merging, forking in the road, or going through a lane change maneuver. And it can recognize when it's been completed, or at least when it thinks it has been completed. So now it will actually automatically turn those blinkers off. This is huge considering if you have obviously ever used a yoke. The arrows obviously are on here not so much on the stalks like in past generations so this actually is nice you don't have to go back and click through the buttons to disengage your turn signals beyond that obviously you can see it says on the note turn signals will cancel based on steering angle regardless of selected setting for automatic turn signals beyond that you have the standard cold weather improvements but a lot of these are actually more uh, updated for what we need beyond just cold weather, such as improved battery preconditioning to deliver a faster charge. Now that these have those new batteries, or the new battery pack, I should say, um, I'm hoping, and I will be putting this to the test on Friday, October 8th this week. So stay tuned, thumbs up this video, and subscribe to the channel for that for updated supercharging and a true real world range test with the Model S long range. So beyond that, you have not only the improved battery preconditioning, but you can see it also warms your cabin faster, includes automatic seat heating um, via the Tesla app, and improved temperature consistency uh, throughout the cabin, the cabin. So again, much more nice than your traditional cold weather improvements. Beyond that, you have the windshield wiper. Windshield wiper wash sequence automatically adjust to your vehicle speed uh, to better clear salt and grime. That I'm very curious about and put to the test, just because we all know how well Tesla's algorithm for windshield wipers have been basically trash in the past. So definitely nice to see improvements there. Beyond that, you have some changes to language support and updates to bioweapon defense mode. So it says you can now, you can now purge a vehicle of unhealthy pop, uh, particles before entering your vehicle by putting on bioweapon defense mode in your mobile app. It does require 4.1 in the app version. This has actually been live now since 4.1 went live, not contingent on this 2021.36 update. If you actually launch the app and you do have that 4.1 update, you will see the scheduler option back for charging. And that is definitely nice to see. So aside from that, that is all of these updates that came out. I'm super happy to see them really focusing on this yoke. Uh, for those of you that follow the channel, you know I'm a huge advocate for it. It is uh, not any big deal. It's just an extra added point. I think it's a very beneficial addition. So seeing that they're updating these features for this, I am definitely happy to see. So again, guys, sorry for the quick video thrown together. I know the lighting isn't even that great, but I hope this helps you. And I hope you guys pull in this update very shortly we know how tesla releases this this came out about probably three four hours ago by the time this video goes live so stay tuned hopefully it'll drop soon for you guys and you won't be stuck in the adaptive slow rollout process thanks for watching guys we'll catch you in the next one peace